when you look around you and you see these big icebergs, keep in mind, what we see above the water is only roughly 10%. The remaining is underneath, so they are all much bigger than what we actually see. And when we see the icebergs, you can see three different colors, blue, white, and black. Now, some of the icebergs will appear to be very, very blue. Now, what happens, as you can see, the ice is obviously not blue, it is very clear. So when you have a small piece like this, light is still able to travel through the ice. But once you have a large enough amount, the light is absorbed. And what, ha what happens when the light is absorbed? All the other colors that the human eye can see disappear, except for the color blue. So this is just a reflection of a color that we see, even though ice and water, for that matter, are obviously not blue. Now, especially for this ice, it is very compact. It's been compressed for many, 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 many years. So there is no oxygen inside. And once the icebergs are under the water, they're being polished and they're more clear. So sometimes it will happen that the icebergs flip over so that blue color is more intense. If you see one that looks especially blue, it means it just came out of the water more recently. After a couple of days exposed to sun, wind, air, rain, the ice starts to crack, oxygen gets inside, and this is what makes them crystallize and turn white over time. Now, for the black on the icebergs, that can be two things. Some of them are just dirty as the glacier drags along the mountain and collects sand and soil along the way. But if you see a really straight line inside of the ice, as you can see there behind you, that means it is ash from a volcanic eruption. So there's volcanoes around the glacier. Uh, over the years, there would be eruptions. Ash sits on top of the ice and then more ice formed, formed on top, trapping the ash inside. That's why we have these straight lines inside of the ice. 